Boys and girls, a slightly later start today. It's nearly two o'clock and we're only just starting the vlog. This is still officially staycation, but this is very much a rest day. I say a rest day. Our idea of a rest day is a work day because Anna's been streaming for like two and a half hours this morning. I've been making videos. I'm going to be making videos what? again this afternoon. With no problem. Oh, except for it kept going to the chatting screen. Yeah, well, they don't know the problems we had with the internet yesterday because we didn't make a video yesterday because we were too busy having problems with the internet. The internet has been a nightmare. Again, you'll know from earlier in the week that the internet went down again and Andy That's ended seven. up trashing his TV. But yesterday, yesterday morning, Anna woke me up at 7am to tell me the internet had gone off again. no, no. no. I couldn't sign in. I couldn't put the yeah. password in. Yeah, and I was like, what's happening? it wasn't happening? working. It disconnected yeah. everything. So I, um, because I'd been rudely awakened, <laughs> I just had a complete hissy fit with it and did what I probably should have done months ago. Well, not months ago, that's not fair, because we actually had a lot of this in place before we switched to the fibre to property. But as soon as we realised the fibre to property was a little bit iffy upstairs, this is exactly what I should have did. But I just came down, ripped the BT Smart Hub 2 out of the wall and put it on the floor to think about what it had done. It's still on my office floor now. Grabbed the old router that we had at our old house, which is a an Asus third party router that used to send a solid Wi-Fi signal through exterior walls out into with the garage foaming. yeah so that I could stream without any problems ever I never had a problem streaming from that garage over Wi-Fi yeah I would be able to stream whilst watching Sky and just ev no problems ever so I switched out for that router got that set up and immediately Anna's PC in here and Anna's PlayStation is yeah. getting like 400 downloads. My PlayStation had three numbers. <laughs> it was 200 and something. So it fixed that problem. What it didn't fix is it didn't fix the problem upstairs. Still getting up onto the third story where Andy is. Um, it was still pretty weak. So I had a TP-Link deco system, a mesh system that we had set up before we got the fibre to property. That was set up and plugged in to the old just BT to cabinet that we had. Um, I set that back up um, with a brilliantly named Wi-Fi network that I've set up on it. Anna, what is our Wi-Fi network called? Kevin is a genius. Yeah, it is. Um, and that now gives a solid signal over the entire house. It's not like super fast upstairs in Andy's room. He's probably getting about 100 down <laughs> and maybe 10 up, but to be honest, that's more than we got anywhere in the old house. It's more than we got here anywhere in the house before we switched to fibre to property. We don't need uplink, and does he? No, no, not really. Um, so as of now, we have a solution. Because I like to do overkill, we have even more of a solution arriving because I have another more advanced Asus router arriving today. No, don't which, mess with no, what works. I'm, I am going to mess with what works because no. this is what Nerdphonics told me to do no. because apparently the router we've got downstairs can work as a signal booster upstairs. Right. We don't need the TP-Link thing. So we're gonna get a bigger, meatier router down here mm -hmm. and then move the one that's in my office now up into our bedroom. And that should give us even faster in and out over the entire house. But we'll, we won't set that up until Andy's at school next you, you week. You know people can see what our things are called, don't you? What our Wi-Fi. How do you mean? Well, when people are scrolling the Wi-Fi. What, like our neighbors? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, Kevin is a genius. I wouldn't have done it if no one was going to see it. What would have been the point? But now our neighbours know I'm a genius. If they didn't know already, they probably did know already. So we've been faffing around with the internet yesterday. That's why there was no video yesterday. I did do a live stream last night or tonight. It's weird. I am going to do a live stream tonight that you saw yesterday. Vlogging is weird. Um, well, so wrong. Um, <laughs> they can't see, so it doesn't matter. They're just off camera. Um, so if you want to see the live stream that I did yesterday, that's in the live streams playlist on the channel. They don't show as public video, so you won't have got a notification about it, but the, the stream replay is there for you to watch if you want to watch it. Um, but that's what was going on yesterday. And today, we've just been getting caught up on work. We're we going to football yesterday. We did play football yesterday. Hopefully we'll play some football again today so I can actually film it this time. We just had a camera free day yesterday. Tomorrow we're off to Drayton Manor and that's why today's been a work day. But also, as well as it being a work day, we had a phone call with Andy's social worker and it looks like we're going to be changing care agencies because Andy's carer didn't turn up at all yesterday. We've had no end of problems with him for the last month or so. Basically, we had a really good team of carers 
and a great coordinator, manager type person all mm. set up back in January, mm. February time when we originally got this care agency. And then they all left at the same time. And the two, the new people who've come in just don't communicate and don't turn up when they do turn up they're late so um, we said we don't want them anymore so we're going to we're working on getting a new care agency now the one that we're talking about using actually has a center that Andy can go to so rather than it just being um. them sitting in the living room watching challenge tv which yes it gives us a break but it really doesn't offer Andy anything at all and um, he's going to have the opportunity to maybe go somewhere and do some more stuff outside of the house so it looks like it's going to be an upgrade on that side of things anyway and the other thing we talked about was getting started on planning his transition into adult social care, oh which God. made this one panic because he turns 17 next month. Oh, which no, means he doesn't. in just over a year, he loses access to all of his children's services Get out. No and way. goes on to adult services. <laughs> and we need to have a plan in place by then for what's going to happen to him when he's 18 and up, he can stay in his current school if it's going well for two years. So he can stay there until he's 19. So we're probably good with school for the next two years, but there'll be that year's gap where he's in school but doesn't have access to any of the care services or any of the other children's services stuff because he'll be 18. So we need to start transitioning then and we need there to be a plan in place for when he turns 19 in July 2023, leaves school and then needs to move into whatever is next. And what we're working towards that being, what's been the plan for years, is some kind of assisted living supported, supported living. living no independence living he yeah, can't some it. kind of thing whether it's a flat that he has carers coming into throughout the day whether it's uh home is home the right word home sounds awful but like yeah a, a residential care home type place It'll yeah be his new home. yeah it, we don't know what the it, there's options for both of those but we need to basically start putting plans in place with the idea being we have a nice and this is so ambitious a nice small smooth transition where summer of 2023 so two years time he leaves school and by the time school would start up again in September he's transitioning into wherever he's going to be living and whatever he's going to be doing now whether it works that smoothly nothing has ever worked that smoothly it's probably quite unlikely but we are starting to get the planning in place now we've got two years to get it right no. <laughs> Come on, don't Anna gets stressed oh. out about it but I refer you back to earlier in the week where you were on camera nearly crying because he smashed stuff. That's only going to get worse. I know, if he's, not that. He's, um, that happened because he was at home for three days bored. Imagine what it'd be like when he's at home for 40 years bored. He'll burn the place to the ground. He needs <laughs> something more than what we can give him because as much as in an ideal world we'd be gazillionaires who could just be his full-time carers and it would be everyone's happy, everything's paid for. And um, for if we both quit working and became carers, do you know how much carers allowance you get in the UK? Carers allowance is how much? Sixty-seven. Sixty-seven pounds a week you get for carers allowance. So if we were to become his full-time carers, we... between the two of us, we'd get one hundred and thirty. No, we wouldn't. No, I'd be able to be his carer. If neither of us were working, we'd both be able to be his carers. We'd probably get like income support and a big bunch of benefits. But ultimately, we'd be on a fraction of the money that we earn from working and the benefits that we would get. Firstly, we'd be on benefits when we don't really need to be because we can work and we do work. But even if we were to just switch and go fully on benefits and become his carers, it wouldn't pay our bills. We wouldn't be able to live in this house. We wouldn't be able to have the car that we have. We wouldn't be able to go away when we go away. We wouldn't be able to take him to Drayton Manor and stuff because we wouldn't have the spare cash. So as much as there's always people saying, well, why can't you look after him? Because we physically can't. There's only so, Yeah, there's only so many hours a day. He needs constant supervision. And we have to be able to pay our bills. So it's fine when he's at school. We can squeeze our work into when he's at school. But long term, it's no way for any of us to live for the rest of our lives having to find a way to scratch around and make ends meet and do little bits of work in the gaps between being Andy's full-time carers. So it's not a realistic long-term option. So we've started planning for what the option might be. Now, where that is going to be and what it looks like, we have no idea at this stage. It's very, very early days. But 
the conversations are starting to be had, which stresses this one out no end because she still thinks he's five years old. Five years he's old. very close to being a full grown man. <laughs> no. Right, we've got some PO box stuff to open. Um, I think these are both for you. Um, oh no, this one says Lelouge. I wonder if that means I should be opening this on um, on stream if it's for Lelouge, because I'm opening this as Kevin Chapman rather than as Lelouge. But as I'm not going to be streaming for a few days, I'll open it now. And if it's clearly something for the stream, I'll open it again on stream. It looks like a book of some kind. It's got a giraffe on the envelope. Um, I can't get into it! Corner! Uh, so hard to open. Right, what? Dear, oh no, it is for us. Um, dear Kevin, Anna, Lucy, Amy and Andy, hope you're all well enjoying the summer and the new garden at the new house. I'm enjoying watching your vlogs and seeing how everybody's doing. Shame Anna didn't get her dream job as the next Sherlock Holmes. She would have been brilliant at it. It's nice to see her back on the vlogs. I also enjoy watching Andy as I have autism, Asperger's. Unfortunately, in my case, I didn't get diagnosed until I was 45. Jeez. So, didn't do well as I was in mainstream school. I would have been better off in an SEN school like young Andy. Hopefully, fingers crossed, lockdown restrictions will be lifted on the 21st of June. I enclose a book for Kevin on how to use your garden as a gym. Why waste money when you can do it in your back garden and make it nice in the process? And I've included a packet of sunflower seeds so you can have a sunflower growing competition. All the best from Cara Mason. Uh, P.S. You should bring Andy to Chesterfield as we have the famous Crooked Spire Church oh, and nearby that, Barrow we? Hill Train Museum. And um, so we have, we can do some sunflower stuff. Um, thank you for the book. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to do exercise at the moment. You're not. Um, I actually had my referral letter through for my cardiac consultant's appointment today, and I'm not seeing the cardiac consultant until the 1st of September. So hopefully that means they're not treating it as particularly serious, but it does mean that potentially I'm not going to be able to do any kind of exercise until September at the earliest. And I've paid for my gym a year in advance anyway. So we'll look into all that. I'll get Anna doing some gardening. She'll love all that. Um, but I've got an echocardiogram at the doctor at the hospital nearby later on in June. So hopefully once I've had the echocardiogram, hold on. Hopefully once I've had the echocardiogram, I'll be able to exercise from then. I've got to take the, Anna is opening this while I'm talking. So I have to take that off of her. Um, yeah, so hopefully once I've had the echocardiogram, I'll be able to exercise from then. But yeah, at the moment, even playing football in the garden last night, I was like constantly checking my heart rate and stuff because I've been told don't do anything other than walking. But you're trying to be your, like, your 12 I know, but old. they don't know what's wrong with my heart. I've got to, yeah, I've got to be good. I've got to be a good boy. Right, now you can open this, you impatient person. Goodness me. All people were hearing was Russell, Russell, Russell while I'm talking about important what, like things. Important things. All right, what have you got here? Don't know. Show the camera, no one can oh, see it. Bath bombs. Ta da! That's upside down, no? Uh, Handmade bath bombs. Please make sure you take time for yourself. You're doing a fantastic job from one mum to another from Debbie Manning. Thank you very much, Aww. Debbie. Dave celebrated by kicking the tripod oh, as well. Are. Bath bombs. Bath -ba bombs. I like the sound of them. Can you I open like them? watching bath bombs. How do you propose I open them? With, with your fingernails. Yeah, because I've got loads of fingernails. <laughs> I mean, what? Use I want, yours. I You've got fingernails now. Anna's not been biting her nails. She's got. Have you shown everyone your shiny nails? No. She's finally stopped biting her nails after years of having no nails on her fingers and started painting them with glittery stuff and using a fancy hairdryer. It's all very smelly. <laughs> They're just our room stinks. I couldn't smell it. There's it stank. I got like gel things with the UV light. Stinky things, but at least she's not biting her nails, so that's a good thing, I guess. You never know. My, my suggestion was just cover them in Tabasco rather than nail polish. That would stop you biting them. I like Tabasco. Well, you just sit there sucking on Tabasco I fingers. used. To, I, I had the nail stuff that tastes awful and I would still bite them. It tasted awful, but I would good, still do me. it. Right, I need to go and get on with some work. Well, I you, think I've opened it. You, you want to show us your actual I bombs, do. do you? Anna's getting her bombs out. Stop saying bombs. Why? It's a word. Oh, it's got a love heart. Oh, love that must be for me. I don't think it is. Oh. Nobody can see what you're doing. I'm show the camera. It. Oh, donut. <laughs> They're cool. Cupcake. <laughs> Love ball! What? 
that is a love ball. Love ball. What else is it going to be called? <laughs> right, I've got work to do. Well, I had hoped to be able to show you all sorts of shenanigans from the garden in the latter part of this vlog, like we did yesterday, but the weather has been rubbish today, even out there now. It's not ideal. It's not actually raining, but it's also not close to as warm as it's been in previous days, so oh, I think... It's going to be. Not tonight, though, is no. it? So I think we'll wrap this video up here, and then hopefully over the weekend at some point, we'll get to show you Andy playing football and me basically kicking the ball at his head, which is what we were doing yesterday. We should have got the camera out yesterday. I did say. Drayton Manor, coming up tomorrow.